Hi. In this video, I will show you how to configure Postfix to send mail using Gmail in Raspberry Pi. This is useful if you want to monitor your Pi performance via email notification. Let's say you want to create a monitoring script that will notify you via email when the temperature is high or file system becomes full. Now let's start. Step 1. Open a terminal and update your system's repo and upgrade. sudo apt get update m and sudo apt get upgrade. Then reboot your Pi after the update. Step 2. Install Postfix Package. Execute the command below. Select Internet site when asked for general type of mail configuration. Step 3. Enter the host name or FQDN of your Raspberry Pi. Step 4. Generate a Gmail app password for Postfix. Log into your Gmail account, then go to link below. Click Security. Scroll down and click Two-Step Verification. Sign into your account and follow the steps to enable Two-Step Verification. Go to the link below to generate app password. Select App Mail then on Select Device click Other Custom Name Enter the name of your Raspberry Pi. Then click Generate. Copy the generated password and save it. Step 5, on your terminal, 
create a file sasl password and add password and username information. Execute the command below. Then paste your username and password. Enter the entry below. Step 6. Create the hashdb file. Execute the command below. Step 7. Change the permission of the sasl password.db file. Execute the commands below. Step 8. Configure the postfix relay. Find the relay host entry. Enter the entry below. Step 9. Add the following entry at the end of the config file main.cf. Save the file by pressing escape key colon w q exclamation mark then hit enter. Step 10. Restart the postfix service. Execute the command below. Step 11. Test mail. Let's try to create an email.txt. Then type our test email content. To test your mail, execute the command below. Log into your Gmail account and check if you received the email from your Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I am now receiving an email from my Raspberry Pi. Now let's try to run my simple temperature monitoring script and send the output to my Gmail account.
In my future video, I will create a temperature monitoring script that will notify via email if the temperature reached 70 degrees Celsius. Now let's send the temperature output to my Gmail account. That's it, my postfix is now working. If you like this video, kindly support this channel by hitting like and subscribe button. Thank you. See you in my next videos.